Hi, I'm Neil. And I'm Josh. And this is Conversations from a coffee house. Love you. Mum. I've got three songs. Who got the regular? Oh, that was. Some regular for that one? Regular. The aggressive regular. Oh. The aggressive regular. Swan. That's amazing. Do you want that? We were discussing before. <laughs> we were discussing before that we think that everything that you purchase should come with a small cookie. Like that. Like a free yeah. cookie. Like everything? Like, everything. Buy, like buy a house, here's a free, free cookie. cookie. Kind of I'd thing. say with a house, you My dad got a cookie with his house. <laughs> no, 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 you still <laughs> just get one. My dad cookie. got a cookie with his house. No, he didn't. Sorry, he did. He got like a little basket, and one of the things in there was a little cookie. It was actually kind of a large cookie. Oh, that's cool. What that's else? It wouldn't work for certain things, like if you got a cookie. Like if no. you bought a box of cookies, you get a free cookie. No, no, but it would. This is what I was explaining before. Say you got like a box of chocolate cookies, just plain chocolate cookies, yeah. and they give you a free chocolate chip cookie, and you but say, well, small. the chocolate was good. Yeah, small. <laughs> and so you have the chocolate chip cookie, and you go, that was a really good cookie. Now I've got and to get a chocolate chip one. as well. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So it's not only a, a nice, amazing thing to have, but it's a marketing thing. It's like a movie trailer. What if you buy a small cookie? Like, what if then you, you get a tiny cookie. cookie. <laughs> Yeah. Do you get a crumb so it's, like, it's like the size of a chocolate plate. <laughs> this shit ain't government. <laughs> I haven't thought this through exactly, but I'd say it has to be at least a quarter of the size of if if it's a cookie cookie purchase, yeah. it's gonna be at least a quarter of the size of the other cookie. No. Okay. I, th- I think that would be right. Makes total sense, I agree. So <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was crazy for wearing thongs. What's going on? Well, I think crazy okay, about cookies. But imagine yeah. if your thongs came with a free cookie. Would you want to put cookies? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking free cookies, not foot cookies. Come on. I'm going to enjoy my cookie. <laughs> so is this going as well as you thought? <laughs> <laughs> I think better. So after the cookie conversation, though, I think we have to we have to find out why why we why we've actually asked these three kind young gentlemen to come and join us today, Neil. I think oh, we'll just talk about cookies. Just to talk about it. So they're not actually they're just people we've picked up off the street. They don't actually yeah. have any interesting Matty. stories. <laughs> 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 I just found these outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would you wear a pair of shoes though that you just found out of the street? I have before. Yeah. I found shoes in the dumpster. In a dumpster. No, shame. <laughs> shame. When I was growing up, uh, I think I was like 16, 17, and I used to work at Macca's in Millydale. I was like, burger. Nine cheeseburgers for 56 seconds, I thank you very much. Wow. Anyway, I was walking. Is that on your, is that's that on your five, resume? Yeah, good. That's about, that's one every six seconds is what you're saying to me right now. Yeah. That's impressive. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> that's Macca's way. Everyone can do that. Well, they used to, but before now, it's all sorts of order. Yeah. Back in the old days. <laughs> Good old days of McDonald's. Of the politics of it. Age, we used to have to make nine cheeseburgers at a time. Oh, I miss the old mass-produced McDonald's. Anyway, go on. It was actually nicer when you had a cheeseburger sitting in the bay room for like an hour. Really? No, but that was a good thing. If, if you didn't get your meal in 60 seconds, then you got the meal for free. That was my favourite thing about Macca's back in the days. Yeah, when they had everything prepared, you would get the meal in 60 seconds or it was free. I didn't know about this. Yeah. yeah. Dad, this is when I was like 15. So 10 years ago. Damn. Anyways, I was walking home from a shift in Macca's one night. You got shoes out of the And there was this dumpster. There and I was hungry in. looking for food. <laughs> <laughs> no, but wait, you, you can't just say there wasn't much in it. Why were you looking in it in the first place is the question. Because it was there on the street. What do you mean? No, 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 but if you pass a dumpster on the street, you're not like, oh, I've got to go look in that. This is, this is going to be an amazing opportunity for me no, in my like, life. There's really cool stuff around it. Like bins and shit. It's been throwing, people <laughs> throwing these things out. It was just like black bag. <laughs> there were like trophies and like, like really cool stuff. So I was like, Tro- what's in this? Out of trophies. <laughs> well, we hanging out like the back of a Tro- basketball club. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So I found these shoes in there. I was like, these are so really I wore cool. them. It takes an unusual twist. I think it is one it's, big unusual it twist. It started with an unusual twist. <laughs> I found a pair of shoes and I wore them. Did they come with a cookie? But they're like, like really cool old bowling shoes. And at the time I had a pair of like old 80s gym boots that I thought were really cool. I thought I was trendy because I was all retro. And I found these old school bowling shoes. So I was like, I'm going to take these. I'm going to wear them. They were bowling the shoes. person ever. And then the next day I bumped into my friend and we were talking about this dumpster and how I found all this cool stuff. And then she goes, yeah, the guy that lived there died last week. Mm. And all of the stuff in that dumpster was the stuff that he'd thrown out. Oh. Or they'd thrown out of his hands. And I was wearing a dead man's shoes. So I put them back in the dumpster and walked away. <laughs> Wait, but not just a dead, you're wearing a dead homeless man's shoes. So shoes that have already been thrown out in the first place for a homeless man to wear. 
he then died in those shoes, and so you're wearing a dead second, no, third hand shoe, yeah. really. There was a man who lived in no, the no. house. Oh, in the house. So he wasn't yeah. like in the dumpster wearing the shoes. No, I didn't take them off a dead hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that, that where you guys get all your clothes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Clearly you do. That's where I got shirt. this beanie from. Shirt. Look at yeah. the holes in it. You couldn't, you couldn't yeah. dress up. <laughs> when Matt walked in and he described them as designer holes. Designer yes. holes. That's where it's So you, pay, you paid for the shirt and already had the holes I bought a pair of jeans and they were completely ripped. Extra 50 bucks. So let's cut from, uh, uh, we'll get there eventually, at the, the end of this episode will be, who are you guys? I yeah. have no idea what's going on. <laughs> at, the, at the end of it, it's like, why should we be watching this? I guess. Yeah. And uh, we'll just put it in the thing at the bottom, we'll put like a little flash which will go, ding. I'm going to do my graphic design right now, it'll go, ding. ding. <laughs> it'll have something. Okay. Yeah. Which one's on there? Can we all do that? Click here to subscribe. <laughs> Down there. Click here. Oh, yeah. Maybe up here. Oh, oh, up there. Or maybe over there. Free photos. Maybe here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put too many. Dumpster fingers. <laughs> yeah, edit this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you guys, uh, the team, <laughs> we're never getting there. Ever. We're never getting there. We're professional. You guys are the professionals. <laughs> yeah. Chris and Josh. Um, <laughs> what is Chris and Josh? Explain to us what Chris and Josh is. Uh, well, uh, it's a web series that I created uh, all the credit. early last year. No, 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 I created and brought these two guys on uh, <laughs> quite early on. Matt plays Josh. <laughs> I can recast it. I just changed it to Chris. Uh, Chris yeah. and friends. Uh, and Chris and Neil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... Like Chris goes to a dumpster, <laughs> flips burgers. Josh gets killed off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a web series, and these two guys play Chris and Josh. Uh, Chris, Josh, and uh, yeah, it's a comedy with sort of at least once once a week, sort of like sketches. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> your first web series wrapped up uh, last year. Yeah, December last year. December last year. So ever since then, uh, what's been going on? Uh, well, we got into um, LA Webfest, which was in March of 2013, so early this year. And in LA. Yeah, it was in, yep, that's why it's called you LA Webfest. You go. Here so. you go. <laughs> this is, I was in LA, but not at all. <laughs> Separate times. Um, yeah, so we got into that and we won uh, Outstanding Ensemble for a comedy, which is pretty cool. Um, and, you know, from that we never really, well, at least I never realised there was such a community around web series. Like, it sort of seemed like a logical thing to do if you want to make something with the same characters, make it a series. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's, like, all these really like-minded people there. Um, I met some really cool, interesting uh, creators, people that are sort of fostering the web series online. So when we came back, we really sort of looked at, well, now there's kind of a, a bit of a buzz around it. How can we push it and kind of generate more views, make the content uh, better and get it taken a bit more seriously. So yeah, and since then we've kind of been putting together what we are calling season two. Sort of, it's not a reboot, but it's sort of like a restart because, you know, there's a few interested parties around that not won't necessarily take what we've created already. So we kind of need to reset it from the start yeah. as a, a, a launching platform. So you know you've got anybody. this audience and people that are interested behind yeah. it. You can Exactly, yeah. And you know, we sort of used the uh, the first season as a bit of a training ground. It was little, very little pressure in terms of what we had to create. Nobody was putting tons of money into it. Nobody was going, it needs to hit a million views every month or whatever it is. It was like, let's muck around, do what we think is funny. Yeah. And it seemed to work out all right. So now we've kind of figured out what we think works and now we can kind of maximize that going forward. So I'm, I'm curious, you know how people always just like, have you ever Googled yourself? Now, Matt, coming from your background in Neighbours, have you ever actually Googled <laughs> yourself? Because we found out something very interesting about you. We did. <laughs> Don't you laugh. No, we'll, <laughs> get, we'll get to you next. Yeah, we'll get to you. Um, <laughs> no, I haven't Googled. Oh, I probably have. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would. I'm gonna be yeah, like, absolutely. I'm yes. No, I don't Google. Me. While while we you were looking around, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna check this up. Gotta <laughs> Google it now. It's while we were looking around, now, we we found one of those kind of like those where are they now sites about you, <laughs> and someone had created a topless photo scandal of you based on photos that they'd clearly gotten either off. Facebook or some holiday snaps. It's just you at the beach in a pair of board shorts, but there's like five or six photos of you in these board shorts. shorts. Not even like these long, sexy ones that yeah. close. Short, short face. Are they my underwear? No, no, it's definitely uh, board shorts. It's, it's ones that you would have picked out. You haven't got them yeah. for Christmas. It's 
designer kind of really short. Sure they're nice. sexy and they're very nice photos, but did you realise there is a topless photo scandal of you on the internet? Oh yeah, I leaked them. So. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder though, like what someone is wearing on the other end of the phone. Like if you're just talking to someone on the phone, you have no idea what they're wearing, no idea what they're doing. They can literally be doing anything at all. Shitting. You would, you would never ever know the difference. No, because I would There's never. Echo. I, that's one thing I will tell you. I will never answer the phone when I'm taking shit. Well, I always I do, do it. All the time. No, <laughs> all the time. Half the time I'm on the phone, I'm in the phone. No, yeah, yeah. and they're like, they're like, are you on the toilet? No, I'm in an elevator or a stairwell or something like that. No, it's just <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm just drying my hair. Oh, so, yeah. I, I will hang up if I ever realise that someone's talking to me when they're on the toilet, I will hang up the phone. I mean, granted, I won't always realise, but if I ever do, well, nothing to do with that. Prepare to hang up with me all the time. time then. That's Facebook and Instagram yeah. time. Yeah, you're but that's <laughs> not, yeah. That's, I mean, that's what you do. That's why you spend 15 it's minutes like, in there. Every time I speak to Shane, I call him and say, hey man, what's going on? It's like, oh, just naked, got out of the just shower. Naked. I'm like, uh, okay, I'm going to see It's like 3 in the morning. <laughs> I talk on the phone when I'm in the shower. Mm. I love it. You told me this the other day. But you can't How? have water running. So do you just stand in the shower? Well, like, and just like, 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 it turns so off like, the water, just stand in it. Wait, yeah, like, like, so do you like head out of the door? And I just, like, the so the water's just running out your back. But what if the water gets on your throat? Can we swear in this? Of course you can. We're to our thing, so. We can, we're a we family can, show, sorry. We can beep it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. But, and oh, dead dumpsters. This has been <laughs> dead dumpsters, gay porn, cocks. Free cookies. <laughs> free cookies, so we've got the kids interested. Yeah. Yeah. Then gay porn. Free cookies doesn't really need to be late, though. <laughs> oh, look at this. Feeling that wasted. Was a disgrace. I just did that really awkward. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Was, yeah. Hey. I'm glad that wasn't captured on camera. <laughs> that went on filming this. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> I like it. Now, the one thing I got to see the other day is I got to see a sneaky preview of episode one of season two, and and it, I I pissed myself the whole time. It was beyond amazing. Um, I can't wait for everybody to see it because I know that it's going to be awesome. Now there was a special guest star on this episode. It's not him because you're a guest star. Only a matter of time too. We all know that. <laughs> Bit part. Yeah. So tell us tell us who that was and what the experience is like to work with him slash her. I've never met him slash her, so it could be both. Uh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> she is a boat. Um, is she a hermaphrodite? I don't know. Uh, Shane, he spends time naked. She's lovely. Uh, so yeah, we had Claire Hooper come and get star on our show. Um, you know, she was on Good News Week and stuff like that. And Shane actually got to know her through the comedy festival. So the episode we showed you is called Lemonade Standoff. And it's, uh, yeah, without going into too much detail, it's epic. It's huge compared to anything else we've, we've put out there. And yeah, we're, we're really using it as a sort of a template in terms of the, the style and the, I guess, the scale of the whole thing uh, for wherever the show goes moving forward. Like no, I was going to say, that just uh, like on a, on a personal question, I side is Claire Hooper as lovely as I imagine she is in my fantasies because I have quite a crush on her. <laughs> And I like imagine having like a picket fence and a couple of dogs and us just drinking tea, staring lovingly at each other, like over the breakfast table. Once you see this episode, <laughs> so she is, yeah, your opinion awesome. will flat out change. Because uh, yeah. <laughs> no, she, she, yeah, she's I, lovely. Yeah, I always have had, just ever since Good News Week, quite the crush, yeah. going to be honest. So, yeah, yeah. She's a babe. Yeah, she nice is, isn't she? Yeah. My question though is, is the, why, did you write in a kiss scene? Because this is my theory, is if you've ever got a hottie on the show, you've just got to write in a kiss scene just because. When you look at... 360s film clip for whatever that song was no one cares anymore but he gets to kiss <laughs> Ruby Rose yeah. it's the whole point of that film clip is he just would have one day said I'm going to make a film clip don't care what the song is I just want to make out with Ruby Rose because yeah. I would do exactly the same thing with Claire Hooper so where was the kiss scene is my question so it was cut it's our it's own cut. personal archives <laughs> <laughs> that's that B-roll it'll be yeah. uploaded to that certain website later <laughs> <laughs>